dear students welcome back in the previous session we have discussed about the muscles which are present um, on the back side of the thigh isn't it so now we are going to discuss about the nerve which is related to both gluteal region as well as the back of the thigh is the sciatic nerve okay sciatic nerve is the thickest nerve in the body and is one of the terminal branches of the sacral plexus this is the sacral plexus so if you see the root value it consists of medial um, popliteal component that is called as tibial portion and um, and this medial um, component um arises from the ventral divisions of the anterior primary rami of l4 l5 s1 s2 and s3 all the ventral branches gives the medial that is tibial portion of the sciatic nerve and the lateral popliteal component arises from the dorsal divisions of only l4 l5 s1 and s2 okay you will see the medial all the nerve roots are there and also s3 also there but in the fib uh, that is called fibular portion or, or the lateral portion it consists of the root value of l4 l5 s1 s2 dorsal branches okay so this is the root value of sciatic nerve if you see the shape at its commencement so at its commencement it resembles as a flattened band and on the cross section it appears as oval in shape okay later it becomes round and cord like later it becomes round and cord like if you see the extent uh, it leaves the pelvis so normally the nerve leaves the pelvis commonly what what is the root uh, which is coming out of the pelvis for the nerves on the posterior aspect that is through the greater sciatic notch below the piriformis muscle so here the piriformis muscle also comes from the greater sciatic notch isn't it yes so below this piriformis so here you can find the sciatic nerve okay so it leaves the pelvis by passing through the greater sciatic notch below the piriformis muscle and extends down into the gluteal region and the posterior compartment of the thigh so at the junction of the middle and lower one third of the thigh at the junction of middle and the lower one third of the thigh it ends by dividing into two terminal branches namely on the medial side it is called as uh, med uh, tibial nerve on the medial side which is called uh, tibial nerve and on the lateral side it is called as common fibular nerve or common peroneal nerve okay so this is the course uh, or the, that means extent of the sciatic nerve okay if you see the relations from above downwards from above downwards so first we will see the posterior relations so posterior relations if you can see so behind this nerve okay so this one is also overlapped by the following muscles one is uh, on the posterior aspect you can find the piriformis muscle so this is posterior aspect piriformis muscle and also the big muscle gluteus maximus muscle okay and also this long head of biceps femoris long head of biceps femoris you can find so piriformis gluteus maximus and long head of biceps biceps femoris okay so if you see on the anterior aspect from above downwards so 
this uh, nerve is related to the dorsal surface of the ischium with the nerve to quadratus femoris intervening in the in between okay and then gemellus superior so next one is the uh, gemellus superior and gemellus inferior so the gemelli muscle and also tendon of abturator uh, internus okay so the last three muscles that is uh, gemelli superior and gemelli inferior and tendon of abturator internus muscles intervene between the nerve and the capsule of the hip joint okay so next another muscle is the quadratus femoris muscle here you can find this is the quadratus femoris muscle on the anterior aspect it is related to the quadratus femoris muscle and also adductor magnus so on the anterior aspect you can find the adductor magnus muscle okay so on the medial side if you see on the medial side so on the medial side it is um, related with the posterior um, cutaneous nerve of thigh on the medial aspect and also inferior gluteal vessels okay so the inferior gluteal artery sends a companion artery to the sciatic nerve which descends on the nerve now we will see the branches of the sciatic nerve okay here you can find the posterior uh, relations that is uh, the muscle long head of biceps femoris on the anterior aspect you can see so on the upper part the gluteus maximus muscle is cut here so the gluteus maximus and piriformis muscles are related on the uh, posterior aspect okay if you see the um, supply so it is having articular branches as well as the muscular branches if you see the articular branch so the articular branch of the sciatic nerve supplies the hip joint supplies the hip joint if you see the muscular branches here you can find the all muscular branches in this pic so the muscular branches supply the hamstrings namely semi tendinosus semi membranosus and also long head of biceps femoris and it is also supplied to the adductor magnus that is the hamstring part of the adductor magnus these four branches arises from the medial popliteal component of the sciatic nerve so this one is medial component and this one is lateral so from the medial component of the sciatic nerve supplies all these branches and a branch to short head of biceps femoris this branch arises from the lateral uh, part of the uh, sciatic nerve that is lateral popliteal component okay so this is about the sciatic nerve uh, root value its shape and its extent uh, relations okay if you see the applied anatomy so the commonly we are uh, uh, observing and hearing one condition called as sciatica which is shooting pain along the course of the uh, sciatic nerve on the back of the thigh which is due to pressure or irritation of the nerve roots of the sciatic nerve in sciatica normally novocaine is injected into the nerve midway between the greater trochanter and ischial tuberosity okay so uh, this is the thing we can observe in the sciatic nerve actually the sciatic nerve is a very big nerve after um, uh, the terminal branches of the sciatic nerve that is tibial nerve and um, common peroneal nerve we are going to discuss in the leg part okay so finally we are going to discuss the sciatic nerve as a whole okay 
so this is the sciatic nerve part 1 so in the next session we are going to discuss about popliteal fossa thank you